creation is nothing but transformation we in reality do not create anything we can only transform and this world is also transforming so i eat food then i transform my body transforms it into energy or into so many things similarly my being my existence is a creation of nature's laws nature's processes so creation in our course means transformation so leaves for example come appear grow on the tree during spring so spring is a period of transformation the tree is transforming the energy whatever and it 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 has or creates into creation so in our course this is transformation this is very one important so these are five important uh, pillars on which we base our performance now this is here you see telling a story or creating or narrating a story a dramatized reading of a story would matter what does that mean that we get a story from these 40 stories and we will transform this into something very different why because the story is written and printed the story does not have a body the story doesn't have a mind the story doesn't have a world the story does not have a self a person and that is where you will pick up one story from these 40 stories read understand visualize who the characters are where the story is happening what is the time and what are the dialogues then you will transform that entire material into a 4 or 5 minute story that your body and your mind will be saying or transforming into a very different kind of cultural product and you are lending your voice you are lending your inner being you are lending your world okay so this is what that is why you see your role is very crucial and because you are going to perform it to to develop that into uh something else of course the idea the text will be there the plot will not change the names of the characters will not change but what is going to be transformed that the print ink will be given voice so medium will change and uh, the person that you are will use your voice that the voice will be unique now on that print ink is not unique on 500 books the same print is there the same letters are there but then 500 people they speak a story all 500 people have different unique voices so a performance therefore is not mechanical and is not reproducible that you cannot reproduce it 
like you can reproduce in printing press. So one copy of a newspaper can be printed, reprinted thousand times in the same manner. But human voice is unique. And uh, human inner being is unique. Human hands are unique. Human sensibility is unique. So, performing this story from the collection is an act of transformation or is an act of creation. It is not just, you know, saying a story. No. This is something like uh, you take material from somewhere. Water and um, you see some material. And then you put all this together and you create a new thing. Like building a house. So you get material, brick, cement, uh, iron and uh, roads and all kinds of things and then house makers, masons, architects, engineers, and they all transform that entire material into a new reality that is creation. They created or construction, constructed a house. The same thing that this you will do when you have read it, read your material, then you understand your body, you understand sounds, and then you understand that this is a task of giving, giving. So I was talking about giving and receiving, and I gave you example that all of us are receiving air, breathing air, exhaling air, oxygen, inhaled, carbon dioxide, exhaled. So there you make turn this into a conscious area. So when you are taking air in, you can feel welcome. Okay? That, uh, you know, once if the breath doesn't come, then we are no more. So welcome. Every time, every moment, every breath is welcome. It's an opportunity to live. And every outgoing breath is important. Why? Because that is carbon dioxide. That if that stays inside us, then again we die. So, when it is going, I am saying thank you. Gratitude. I am expressing my thankfulness. So, I welcome. I thank you. I welcome. So, you see, the air is coming. I welcome. 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 Now, I have received it. Now, I am transforming it. I have transformed it into carbon dioxide. Now I let it go and I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You helped me to live. Thank you. Okay, now it's going away from us. So, a story is not different from breathing or it's not different from living in this environment. So when we are telling story to someone, we must know that this is an act of giving. This is an act of giving. And we should, therefore, know our sentences, our paragraphs, our characters, our, you know, plot, so better. Why? Because if we know them better, then we can give them better. So how to really serve it, how to give it out to the audience. And the audience is in a receiving mode, will receive it. 
and the audience will then transform it into something else and then perhaps will tell us feedback so this is you know how this cycle works this is how this cycle works